Hello creatures, welcome to Bound by Words. If we haven't met yet, my name is Maddie. I am an editor and a fantasy writer, and I wanted to talk um, throughout all of today, actually. I had planned on doing like a vlog style video throughout the day about my Camp NaNoWriMo goals and how I'm moving forward with my writing and what I really want to accomplish in July, but it is thunderstorming off and on. So because the thunder like really messes with the audio, there's a good chance this might be a two-day venture, but for now... I have a pretty exciting NaNoWriMo goal for this camp, or pretty unique, I should say. My NaNoWriMo project for July of 2021 is to fall in love with writing again. And I think it is an important first step. I like watching um, like Kate Cavanaugh's videos. She frequently talks about how writing is a muscle and you have to like stretch it and exercise it to get better. Well, over the last couple of months, especially if you have been part of this community, you know that like... I, my, my muscles gotten pretty lazy. I had some like medical things that happened and then I also had just some schedule things that happen. I've been posting pretty inconsistently and at first what happened was um, I wasn't really working on my book and I was like trying to be part of the community and then that sense of like imposter syndrome came over where it's like I'm making writing content but I'm not even finding time to write myself which was a little hard to like manage and cope with and then it really spiraled downhill from there. I am just now starting to feel a lot more myself and feeling a lot more committed and creative and ready to jump back into writing so I am exercising my writing muscles by spending July focusing on the joy that I found from writing. So I don't have a specific project. I don't have a specific word count goal. So today I'm really just getting started with some of the planning for that and the thunder is starting to kick in right now. I think we're gonna get round two of the showers. But first I really wanna go in and I want to like brain dump, I'll probably just pull up like a, a Word document or Google Docs or something and just write down all the ideas of things that I might want to do for July. I have been lately writing without rule is sort of how I've been thinking about it. I'm writing without the pressure of I have to to share something on Instagram or I have to like move forward in my book. I've just been writing because I enjoy it when I can and now I want to like go a little bit further and I want to like push the boundaries of making time for writing and making time for being creative but I also want to like cushion that with I don't need to write a certain number of words or a certain amount of minutes and I'm even going to go as far to say as I don't have to write every time I do something creative. I want to fall in love with the feeling of writing again. So this July is going to be something really new and different for me and I don't really know what that's going to look like yet but I hope that you guys stick around and see. Remember to like this video and hit the subscribe button. the sleepy baby literally threw a fit that he wasn't in the last clip and he was so upset and he was loud and he was like like purring and making noises and knocking stuff over so I turned the camera to face him and now he's not even gonna look at it but um I wanted to give some background of sort of like how I think things spiraled out of control with my writing I'm probably not going to be sharing a lot of like really personal details because I think it's like a lot of little things that really added up. I think um, the first thing was my computer broke back in February. If you are new to the community or maybe you don't watch all of my videos, my computer broke. I was out of commission for a few weeks and it took me a while to really get a setup where I was able to create content and write and I think during that period I started to break some of my habits and shortly after that I decided that I wanted to try to take medication for my ADHD and I have mentioned that a little bit in passing but um, just the process of trying to find something that I like that would be beneficial that I really seen like improvements on um, it was like a long few months and during that period, I also uh, got a new job. I'm transitioning out of Starbucks now. I feel like I've had like the most, I don't wanna say action packed, but like the biggest period of change in the last like two to three months that I've had in the last couple of years. So all of these things were changing and all of my habits were changing. And I think some areas I just wasn't strict enough with myself. And you know, whenever you get really stressed, like the things that aren't necessary have to go first. So first my writing went, then some of my content creation went, then all of my content creation went, and it, I just can't believe I honestly let it get that bad. But 
on the upside, I am on medicine number three that I'm trying. The first two obviously did not work out. That that was not like an improvement in my life. But this third one that I'm taking, I really like it. I see an improvement in my productivity and my mood. So it's a very new and exciting part of my life. And now he's going to start causing a ruckus again. Um, but on this medicine, I'm feeling a lot of my motivation and my creativity. And I am like constantly thinking about how I can like get the ball rolling again like how I can get started with not only my writing but my platform and my content creation and that's what I want to do for Camp NaNoWriMo I don't want to focus on the logistics sorry I had to readjust my position after Flurry knocked a bunch of stuff over and then my tripod but I want to focus on the creative aspect of writing that I sort of let slip first I don't want to worry about or fuss over the content creation or the business planning or like the blog writing that I've been like trying and struggling to do. I really want to focus on falling in love with writing. I want to do the things that made me want to write a book in the first place. But it's a hard balance because I also want to have goals so I can't just do whatever I want during July and say I won. Like I, I want to have something that I, I strive for and you know even though I'm not making myself right every time like I see the value in creating playlists and I see the value in creating Pinterest boards or planning I don't want to end July with like 20 Pinterest boards and a couple of playlists and no actual words done so I need to work on today determining like what I want my goals to be but the overall thing that I want to achieve in July is I want to like find my motivation and my muse again So I am having like the world's worst time working from home today. I spent a little bit of time on my like Camp NaNoWriMo brainstorming dump and then my goal was to really like work on like edits for clients for like maybe two or three hours and then to revisit my list of things that I wanted to get done and like add and subtract and, and really just reevaluate before I checked in again. Um, I ended up getting a pretty bad headache, so I took some Motrin, drank a bunch of water, I ended up laying down for a little while, and since then I have just been so off and so distractible. I don't know, I realized that um, July starts tomorrow actually, it's June 30th, and I'm ordering a new laptop tomorrow, which is like really exciting, so that sort of like consumed a lot of my thoughts, so then I was doing laptop research, then I revisited, I printed out my list to work with it a little bit. Um, I really just like tangible paper. So this is my July Camp NaNoWriMo like brainstorming list and the reason I printed it out is because like through the rest of today and then tomorrow, even though it's July 1st, through tomorrow I want to be able to like adjust and write notes and stuff and then when I'm done I'm going to print out a nice copy and I'm going to put it somewhere visible on my desk like either in my drawer when I pull it out or maybe even right behind my monitor. So I have a couple different sections, two sections really. Um, the last one is just like ideas of what I might want to have write-ins which I'll post that on my Instagram if you're not following that I always leave the link down below and they will be here on this channel um, like the icons and stuff so you can set reminders whenever I get those thumbnails created but the first section is a brainstorming of what kinds of things that I want to do throughout July and the reason that I thought it was kind of important to write these down is because I, I don't want to get stuck in I think I mentioned earlier like I don't want to end the month with like a bunch of playlists and no actual words I want to find creative and exciting ideas to get like the motivation going I think that when you're writing as a hobby, it is totally okay to wait for inspiration to strike and for wait for motivation to strike. I think whenever you start moving towards like, I wanna publish a book, which is like work, it's like a job. Whenever you start moving in that direction, then you sort of have to force yourself to write even whenever motivation doesn't hit. So the goal of July is to find ideas that if I show up, and I'm like, hey, I'm trying, the motivation will come to me. So it's sort of like an in-between. Like I'm not, I don't wanna sit passively and wait to get motivated or inspired, but I also wanna do writing related things when I'm in the mood for them to sort of encourage 
it happening more often to like increase dopamine and stuff like that. So the first item on my list, and it's sort of what I want to focus on, is what I call loose writing. Definitely a term I like made up. I've been calling it this for years. I don't know what else to call it. It sort of goes along the lines of like writing without rules. I've talked about this a little bit in the last couple live streams I had. I think I talked about it a little bit in my burnout video. You're not worrying about like, do I have a scene card? Am I writing a short story? Am I writing a chapter? You're not even worried about like what characters involved. You're just sitting down showing up and writing whatever comes out and I think like that is primarily what's gonna get the motivation ball rolling these writing individual scenes you know I might end the, the month with three new book ideas I might end the month with a couple new characters that I met that I might want to incorporate into one idea I might end the month with 20 scenes that are just floating around but I have developed creatively from writing them. So that's sort of like the goal. Flurry jumped up and he's sitting next to me and I feel like every time I start talking like this, he starts to be loud. And then every time I'm quiet, I'm like waiting for him to calm down. He's like totally silent. Stop. Okay, I moved the camera to include him and now he's pretending like he's camera shy and he's facing the wall again. But he's purring, he's purring now. You're such a nugget. Okay, so Camp NaNoWriMo goals and writing things while we give Flurry attention. This is what he does behind me while I work all day, and this is why I get nothing done. Um, so the loose writing was number one, but I also just made a list of other things that I would like to do. So writing prompts, master class course. I have like a master class pass, so it would be really cool to just take a course now that I'm out of school and I finished my certificate. Um, there are scene cards, doing write-ins and stuff in the community, comparing fonts. I love to like find and, and try out new fonts. So like if I did like a writing experiment of like how fast can I write in different fonts or are there different fonts where it's easier for me to be productive, stuff like that. I include a blog post, but that's sort of farther down on my like priority list. Um, writing experiments is big on there. I want to I wanna find some things to experiment with. Because I don't currently have a laptop, I can't really go around and travel with the experiments, but I can do like method-based experiments um, with my writing and writing styles. Reading books on writing, which you know is like a gray area, like I'm not counting reading, but for some reason reading like craft books really gets me in the mood to write, so I might spend a little bit of time doing that. Trying new writing locations is also on my list, but this is if the laptop that I'm ordering tomorrow, if that gets here by the end of July. It says it'll ship in like three weeks, so I should have it for the last week, but honestly, um, you know, like that might just not happen, so I don't want to get my hopes up for that. I do have my iPad that I can write on, and I do have like a Bluetooth keyboard that I can use for my iPad or my phone or whatever, but I do prefer to have a little bit of a bigger screen. I want to experiment a little bit with like character sheets or um, picture writing prompts. So I put writing prompts at the top and then later on I realized, you know, like picture writing prompts are like just as cool and just as unique. So those are some ideas of activities to do and things to like exercise my, my writing muscles. So if you have anything that you like to do, please put it in the comments. I would love suggestions. I would love to grow this list. The point of this list is really just so that if I get to a point where I really feel stuck or I just don't know what I'm in the mood for, that I, I have a little bit of a pull to draw from for inspiration. If you hear a little snoring in the background, Flurry sitting next to me, passing out, super cute, has asthma. I don't have the heart to move him. He's behaving for once. So I hope it's not in the audio too much. But um, the next section that I brainstormed and I like was thinking and bouncing ideas around in my head about all day today was quantitative goals is what I'm calling it. So the idea that I need something tangible to track to hold myself accountable, to push myself during July. I don't want to just get to the end of July doing whatever I want for writing and go, woo, I finished NaNo. Like, I want to have something that I'm striving for. So I'm, I settled, I'm pretty sure, on a time goal. I'm pretty set on doing 1,395 minutes. And this would be 45 minutes a day. But I am counting for minutes for the whole month because I know there are going to be days where I might not be able to write and I want to be like okay with that. I want to give myself grace and I just want to sort of counterbalance that with days that I might sit and write or work for two or three hours at a time. So I picked that number, the 1395, because it would be 45 minutes a day 
30 minutes just didn't seem like enough, especially because, you know, it takes a little bit of time to really get yourself in the writing zone. 30 minutes is, is better than nothing, definitely. But um, for me, I just wanted to do a little bit more. But an hour seemed like too much of a commitment. And I kept bouncing back and forth between 30 minutes and an hour. So then I just had the thought, like, I could just go the halfway mark and do 45 minutes a day. Um, I considered other things like like word count. I knew I didn't want to do because I didn't want it to get into the realm of I need to do this amount of work because some of the things on the brainstorming list we talked about in the last clip um, aren't tracked by word count. Like if I took a master class course, like I don't really have a way to track that by word count. So other things that I did consider though were like doing a project every day or pre-planning projects. And I think that there would be some problems with that also with like the work feeling if I did a project every day then that means like the days that I didn't work I would have to do like two projects the next day you know some projects take a long time and some don't like where am I gonna draw the line for each project is like one day gonna be a scene one day gonna be like a character card it just seemed like there were a couple more logistics and I want to focus more on the finding my passion and finding my my desire to write so I, I want to take the checklist aspect out of it like I want to track my progress and I want to push myself but I don't want to be going through the motions doing things just to check off a, a list which the same with the pre-planned projects would be like oh I'm gonna write 500 words of this one day or I'm gonna take one master class class the next day you know like the courses are usually broken up into sections so if I took a month's calendar like on a piece of paper and I like mapped out like what I wanted to do each day I know I wouldn't stick to it just being honest. I know that I would either miss days and I'd get stressed and I'd want to do two or three days at once or maybe like the first week I like stay on track or I get close on track but then the second week I just start doing things out of order based on my mood which is why I wanted to create this idea list that I wanted to have around because I want to utilize the mood that I'm in. I want to write and, and work based on my mood because I think that's the best way to get the momentum going. So those are my plans for now, unless I think of something better or maybe somebody suggests something better. I'm always open to suggestions. Whether you're watching this video in July of 2021 or even two years down the line, if you have good ideas of things to do that are writing related and creative and might be motivating, please put them in the comments below. I'm always looking for suggestions like that. I hope that I have gotten like the core of the excitement out of my system with that little bit of planning because I do have work that I have to do now if I like want to get done on time. So I am doing work. I am very against missing deadlines or extending deadlines. It's just like it's something that I've had to fight for my whole life. So with this job, I don't want to miss a single deadline for even even the most legit reason. So I'm trying to get on top of this project so that I can turn it in on time. And then I'm probably gonna pick something to start with. Like tomorrow is the first, but I watch my niece most of the day and then I have this deadline due for work. So I'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of creative things tomorrow except for maybe some planning, which stinks, but you know, like I, I have to prioritize a little bit better than I have been. But I wanna hit the ground running on the second and I would like to maybe find the opportunity to do something small tomorrow but I really set on doing like a master class like the more I talk about it and just mention it in passing like it was one small bullet point but I think that that would be like a really fun thing to do because a lot of them involve like assignments and suggestions and stuff like that and I'm probably gonna do some planning and like picking between today and tomorrow of like what class I want to take and how I want to approach it and I'm just really excited for this whole month of enjoying writing and making it a point to only enjoy the writing it just I haven't even started yet and I'm excited I hope that excitement like carries through so it is July 3rd already my Camp NaNoWriMo goals video pretty quickly turned into a first few days vlog because I had started recording so late but um it's been going good but not great I knew going into the weekend that I wasn't gonna have a lot of free time that I wasn't gonna be able to do much I like officially started yesterday but all I was really able to do was I jumped into some live sprints on YouTube and I did two 20 minute sprints so I was able to collect a whole 40 minutes which was really exciting but I also settled on Neil Gaiman's masterclass and I queued up his masterclass workbook on my iPad and I got that all set up to take it but honestly I haven't gotten a whole lot else done between my work projects and I worked at Starbucks 
all day. So that took up a great deal of time. I worked from about like 2 to 10.30 ish and then I always get home a little bit later than that. But it has been a slow and exciting start and I'm really looking forward to sort of like switching my approach come this like next week. So this weekend was more of like a let's make the most of opportunities we find and this next week is going to be the start of where can we create opportunities and make time. I did officially get my laptop ordered as well. The official like expected delivery date is the 23rd and I'm really excited about it. I heard a lot of great things about Dell's customer support and then being on time and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that I do have my laptop for the end of June but um, I don't think it's the biggest deal if I don't. I also had to reorder my headphones for like my live streams. I have headphones that attach to my computers and one of my cats got a hold of them and like chewed a hole in them. So I don't actually think I'm gonna be able to do the first live stream that I wanted because I wanted to do them every Monday. But um, I maybe will displace that until later in the week. But for now, I am going to go to bed because I'm pretty tired. And then at the beginning of next week, I will check in and let you guys know like how the master class is, what other creative things I'm starting. I don't really have anything super planned yet. I'm hoping that as I like do some of the assignments for the master class, I'll get inspiration to write a little bit more outside of like the like homework assignments they have. Um, during the writing sprints, I just got some free writing done. So I got a couple thousand words, which was pretty exciting. I was excited about it. Um, I think I got a little bit under 2000. It might have been a little bit more than 2000, but somewhere right around those numbers. If you're interested in following my journey this July and falling in love with writing, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and remember to like this video.